Recently, I decided to make a Pac-Man game. It's cool, it's a classic arcade game, and I never played it actually. And it just seems like a good practice to do, yeah. To make it a little bit more unique, maybe I will make it LEGO style, because LEGO is also cool and everyone loves it. At least I do. <laughs> well, so the first thing that I decided to remake is a map. So I opened Blender, the program for making 3D models, and started modeling the level. I used the original maze to model the level as you can see, and one by one I extruded the walls. And so, little by little, the maze was finished really quickly. I'm quite satisfied with the result I have for now, so I exported it into the game engine and I can just say that it looks really awesome. I tried searching through many ideas for Flag Pac-Man, but this one was the best I found, so I started modeling him. Then I made a duplicate of this model and changed it just a bit to have a closed mouth. Then by continuously swapping these two models I implemented Pac-Man's famous goblin animation. Yeah, it looks just about right, I think. I also tried search for ghost ideas and I found this one, which I liked the most. And so I started modeling it as well. After that I started implementing the main game features. I added quite a few pellets that the Pac-Man should eat. Well, to finish the level he will have to eat all of them. It took quite a huge amount of time to place all of these pellets in the world. It's something about 240 of them. But after all the Pac-Man can now walk around and eat those. Looks pretty nice. And then I've added power pellets, of course. They will allow the player to eat enemy ghosts a bit later. Oops. No, man, we don't work like this. Then I decided to model some fruits. They are orange, strawberry and apple. I modeled them Lego style as well and just spawned them and made the player to be able to eat them. After that I've added the ability to warp around the map and did that with a nice particle and sound effect. Oh, bye bye Pac-Man. <laughs> Much better now. When an enemy is present in the level, I made so that the player dies when touches it. And as I said before, when the player eats a power pellet, 
the enemy will become vulnerable and you will be able to eat it. If you do so, it will try to return to the enemy house to be reborn and to chase you again. I've implemented two different behaviors for the enemies. Ghost of the first type will just randomly walk around the maze without the goal to hit you. On the other hand, ghosts of the second type, like this one that you see on the screen, will chase you aggressively, so that you always have to be aware of them. So I spent some time making different enemies. Basically I recreated all the ghosts from the original game. They are Blinky, Inky, Pinky and Clyde. Even though almost all game features are already implemented, I still have to do some user interfaces and menus, which is quite a lot, you know. So I spent a huge amount of time making screens for the game. They are level complete, game over, main menu, top scores screen. So let's take a moment and see how the game looks like for the time being. I never played the original Pac-Man before, and so this project was the thing to make me just a little bit more familiar with it. I learned a lot about Unreal Engine during this whole process. And I just made a cool complete game that is really fun to play. By the way, I will attach the link to where you can download and play the game for free in the description of the video. Please give it a try and tell me what do you think about it in the comments down below. I also encourage you to beat my high score. At the moment of making this video it was something about 41,000 points. With that being said guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed the video and the game. If it is so, please leave this video a like and subscribe, yeah. I hope to see you soon in another game development adventure like this. Thank you all very much for watching this video guys and goodbye!